Hey everybody, it's Brianna. Welcome to Vidden Day 7. <laughs> um, I did start recording a video for you guys yesterday on election day, but then I got distracted, I stopped the video, and then I never went back and edited it or finished it or uploaded it or anything, so I owe you guys a bonus. So, um, we're back in my kitchen again today. I'm cooking dinner right now, so I thought I would show you guys my super easy, life-changing crock-pot chicken. <laughs> um, I only discovered this recipe a couple of months ago. I wish that I would have discovered it over a year ago when I started this program because it would have changed my life over a year ago and now um, it's only changed my life for the last couple months. But it's super simple, it's a great go-to, easy, um, set it and forget it kind of situation. And uh, for those of you who try to come up with lean ingredients on the fly or in a pinch or like at the end of the day you're so exhausted you can't even think about busting open a pan, this is totally for you. So this is my crock pot. I have a pretty big uh, crock pot. I don't know if you can see. You see all my coffee. You guys think I'm joking about the coffee. <laughs> These are my Keurig cups. I love my Keurig. Um, anyway. Okay, so this is my crock pot. Um, so what you do is you take boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Um, I didn't cut off all the fat on there just because, you know, I'm not going to sit there and eat the fat, but um, there is a little bit of fat on there. Um, I, don't, I don't think you want to take out all the flavors, so you can just cut it off when you start shredding it. So, okay. You put in the chicken breasts. I usually throw in a whole bunch of them. I think there's like six good sized chicken breasts in here right now. It's a big chicken boob party. And you cover it with water or low sodium chicken broth. Just enough to cover the actual meat. So if you make a bunch or if you have a smaller crock pot and you really load it up in there, just make sure that you cover it with enough water or low sodium chicken broth to cook. Um, I usually do water and some uh, chicken bouillon. You can see it. I didn't really mix it in. You can see it. You see it there and there. Ignore my terrible manicure. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's just the powder uh, chicken bouillon. I'll show it to you guys. It is. I got chicken in the oven right now. Um, caldo de pollo. This stuff is really, really good. So you just put in a couple of pinches of dry bouillon in there, or one cube if you have the cubed kind. Um, you could do it with water too. You could really just um, season this up however you want and set it and forget it. So I put mine on, it's between four to six hours on high depending on how many, how much chicken breast you're making. If you're making like three to four in one of the smaller crock pots, I would probably say like four hours on high. So anywhere between four to six hours, just once you can poke it with a fork and it really kind of pulls apart easily, it just kind of falls apart, that's when you know it's done. You basically, once it's done, that's not gonna be done until later on tonight. I just threw some extra chicken in there um, for the next couple of days. Um, once it's done, you take it out of there, you shred it with a couple of forks, and like I said, once it's done, it'll just fall apart. You can use the chicken, if you don't really over-season it, you can re-season it later. You can make chicken salad, put it on top of a salad. Um, sometimes we throw it in the skillet with some taco seasoning and make uh, chicken taco wraps out of it and that sort of thing. It can take on, you know barbecue sauce, any of the condiments or any of the herbs, spices that you want to use, it'll take on that flavor and it'll be great. But it's great to cook up a big batch in the middle of the... My dinner's ready. <laughs> um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, you can see him. My son's running around. This is life, y'all. This is life. Um, he's like, feed me, Mom. It's dinner time. <laughs> So anyway, you can cook a, a big batch of this and eat off of it for your lunches, take it uh, to work with you or eat dinner, you know, on those days that you really just don't feel like cooking anything 
Um, this is great to have on the hand. My son eats it, you know, he's a toddler, he's finger fooding, so um, he likes to eat it with some ketchup because he's a kid and ketchup goes on everything. So um, that's my super easy, life changing crock pot chicken. I should mention I got the recipe from the Skinny Taste blog. She does have some low carb recipes on there. Just uh, look at the ingredient list, try to make it lean and green friendly. Uh, run it by nutrition support to make sure you're getting what you need and keeping it within the condiments and uh, keep it healthy. All right, <laughs> gotta go. Bye.